Hey everyone, welcome to another video review. This is the Figma Sumire Hiana from Love Life Superstar. She's number 555. We're gonna go ahead and put her off to the side real quick and look at this box, which is quite green. And you can see her there, you know, that's nice photo of the uh, toy and you got the uh, window and Max Factory and Love Life Superstar and Figma and 555 and her name in English and in Japanese. And you guys got the Bandai Namco Arts thing right there. On top you have another pose on Figma and all that stuff. On the side you have a pose, you have another pose. And uh, same pose at the top and a bunch of product shots in the back and what's included in the warnings and for ages 15 and up and all that stuff. So it comes with the uh, instructions in both English and Japanese, you know, just basically just basic stuff, you know, about your, you know, Figma, how to use stuff and whatnot. And there you go. So the figure, yep. The final member or final member, I guess, of the first group of uh, Leela. Yeah, the first, I guess now third years and as of season three, which is starting sometime this year. Yeah, you can you see her there. She's got blonde hair. She's got her little hairband, a little white in that hairband. You see the little thing there. And there, got her eyes, green eyes. Little curly thing right there. Of course, you got the uniform with the white and the red ribbon and the gray and the silver belt ring, white stockings, brown shoes. And yeah, pretty much all that stuff. I'm not going to talk about anything else. But yeah, um, well, looks wise. But yeah, um, once again, looks pretty much looks pretty well. You got the stand here, you know, the same typical Figma stand, the hexagon with the, you know, with all that, all those armatures, and you can twist and all that stuff. So all of that stuff there, typical for Figma. And of course, well, I got any Figma, she's posable. The only thing is this one is a little weird. For one, this comes off really, really easy, the, her uh, hair thing. This comes off way too easily. At least on mine, so I'm gonna probably have to thicken those up a little bit with some floor polish or something. Right there, because that, because yeah, I want to bring it over here to review. That top of the head felt, this hair fell off, and I didn't notice it, so I brought it over, uh-oh. Uh <laughs> so yeah, that was fun. Uh, there's that, but yeah, which way, um, head, it's on a ball joint, so you got left and right, and up and down it's, it's it's attached weird unlike a lot of them um it's actually attached uh let's see actually the back of the head right there instead of in the head it's attached to the back of the hair which is interesting also you can also tell because of the hair length um there's a little bit of an issue with the there's only so many poses you can do with it attached to the stand here because um that's a problem they see yeah doesn't quite line up unfortunately because the hair length yeah um yeah, ball joints there. So you got left and right, up and down, and then waggle and all that stuff. Shoulders you can rotate around, go outward, and whatnot. So you can see they're also there also they're because of the way they're designed. Of course, again, you can have a little bit of butterfly joint action going on there. I guess if you want to call it that, you have to kind of you know if you want to get more arm range, you kind of have to twist it and do all sorts of stuff. Right there, you got a, I guess a swivel because of the sleeve. You got a bit of swivel there, and you also got a swivel to elbow, and those elbow can bend about that far. Yeah, that's what I see what I mean. It doesn't take much for that uh, hair to come off. Got that. The wrist, of course, can uh, swivel and bend at that hinge there as well. So you got all that. Right here is the ball joint, so you got, you know, forward and back and left and right and twisting, all that stuff. Down here, hips, you got, well, of course, you got the uh, rubbery skirt, so got forward and back that far. And the thing is, yeah, because it's Figma, you got this whole thing, this clicky hip system. So you, if you need a little more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Range. You can get a little bit more. Although, again, because of the skirt, you're really not going to get that much, honestly, but you get a little bit there. You got to do a bit of, you know, twist and also outward, which, eh, you get that much before, you know, kind of hitting the limits of the skirt. Again, also when you do that, usually it'll kind of pull out on its own anyway, so that's something. Knees, you got bend that far, and at the ankle you have forward and back and rotation and tilting and all that stuff. And she can, you know, if you get her balanced right, she can stand without the stand, but it doesn't take much to knock her over because, well, feet are small because anime girl. Big head, small feet, anime girl proportions can be kind of fun to deal with. 
But uh, yeah, just um, I'm gonna put it on the stand real quick again. Just to, I guess, quick before we get into the accessories, I'm gonna do comparisons now because otherwise it's uh, gonna be a weird thing. Yeah, the other four members of Leela so far of Group One of Leela, the, the original five. There's Canon. There's Cuckoo, which actually kind of I, forget, I don't think I mentioned this, but she also kind of apparently shares the problem uh, Sumire has with the hair that likes to come off easily. Chisato. And of course, Ren. Good old Ren. So, yep. The original five are all there. Probably gonna, they're probably going to announce the uh, next four, you know, um, Kanako, Shiki, Mei, and Natsumi, but probably not for a bit. We'll see. Hopefully. Now, accessories. Of course, accessories. Number one, of course, as usual, a bag to put it all in. Two alternate faces, which, you know, you got her smiling face there, and you got this face, which is kind of looks a little shocked alarm. Maybe just Cuckoo called her a giant isopod again. And you got this one, which is a bit of a winking face. And, of course, it's easy to swap any of them out. Just pull that off. Pull the face off. Put the new one on, which the faces go on there nice and tight, but the hair does not, unfortunately. And you got that going on. So you got that. You have, of course, the backpack, which hers is actually the kind of almost looks the plainest because all she has is this little charm because she's also a shrine maiden and also a Hollywood, a, you know, I guess a, an a actress of sorts, although she hasn't done much. But, you know, of course, getting the backpack on is pretty easy. Yeah, they tell you to pop both arms off, but you really don't. Make sure you get that under the hair. And this is where I think this is, I think she's the first one to really have this issue. All the others did not have this issue, which she does, which, you know, the backpack can just, of course, peg right in there. And then you got that, which is the problem is, well, you can't make her look straight ahead when she has the backpack on because of her hair. That's a problem. That's a genuine problem of she is now perpetually looking down. So unless you, of course, you get her off to the side, in which case you got, uh, yeah. Regardless, yeah, because of the length of the hair, you can only you can only make her really look down a little bit. You can see that. So you kind of have to make her look off to the side for her to kind of straighten out a little bit. But, so it's kind of uh, annoying that, unfortunately, you can't leave the backpack on with and have her look straight ahead. So that's kind of a... I know I'm not sure what they could have really done about that either. But you can still attach this the backpack to the stand if you want, but... Yeah, fundamentally, just gonna it's gonna alter some things. Just you're gonna have to deal with the fact that yeah, again, you look like that now. Of course, something handy for the next few features, which of course, replacement wrist joint just in case, and of course, two planks of hands. You got fists, open palm, gripping, peace signs, uh, the little. I guess love signs and two different pointing hands on top of her splayed hands. And of course, swapping those out is pretty simple. You just go ahead and, you know, pop off the ball joint and pop another one on. And there you go. And of course, if you pre ordered from, or I guess ordered possibly from a Good Smiles online shop, you get this bag, which has, the, of course, the hand holding part. And so with this, if you've heard of all of them for Good Smile Shop, you have enough handing holding parts to do basically a little friendship circle polycule, whatever you want to call it, depending. I'm not going to judge. I'm going to go ahead and get that set up real fast, and then you'll see. Yep. See? You can do that. You know, all five of them holding hands in a circle, doing whatever. Yeah, this is kind of a little rough and whatnot, but hey. Not talking about that because they're kind of supporting each other. That's why you don't even use the stands. Also, you can't really use the stands because they kind of clack into each other and it's not a great time but yeah um yeah you can do that so it's kind of neat uh actually that that's a thing but um 
Not sure how it's. Oh man, if they, I'm pretty sure it wouldn't surprise me if the next set also comes. Oh you know, man, you can make a big circle now. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's the final member of, I guess, uh, set one or group one, or whatever you want to call it, uh, Sumire. Uh, still pretty good. The only problem I have with mine is just simply, well, two problems. The the front of the hair comes off really easily, and the length of the well, back of her hair makes it so she doesn't wear the backpack very well, and also makes it kind of finicky putting her on the stand. So, uh, but beyond that, she's still pretty solid. Um, yeah, and if you're getting all of Leela, then, well, you're going to need her, and she finally came out after a weird delay for whatever reason, and there you go. Still worth it. Uh, still, I think cost me just shy of sixty dollars total to get a ship for shipping. But uh, yeah, of course, U.S. domestic will be cost 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 you closer to eighty. Um, yeah, that's at that point it's kind of really hard harder to swallow because again they have a decent amount of accessories but not a whole lot. I mean the backpack, a bunch of hands, and a couple faces. So it, at sixty ish dollars, it's kind of a better proposition than it is at eighty ish dollars. So that's a, that's a thing to watch out for too. But I still think it's overall pretty solid. Just the mine mine the hair just is a little looser than like, and the the back hair just just gets it. Well, that sounds wrong. The back of her of her hair tends to get in the way, unfortunately, because of the length. It's like Connell's was kind of weird just because again the 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 length of it is kind of just constantly inhibits posabilities because it keeps bumping into her own shoulders. But uh, yeah. Still a good figure. Still, if you're in a love live, recommend her. And uh, there you go. So uh, that's it for this one. I hope you found it informative and entertaining. Hope you like, comment, subscribe. Check out my uh, Twitter. I'm at Nemesis Prime 1. Check out my co-host, co-host.com slash Nemesis Dash Prime. Check out my coffee on my Patreon. And I'll see you next time with another video review.